Hello, my name is Christopher. Today, I'm going to show you how to install Umami on Casa OS uh, using Big Bear Casa OS, which is a third party app store that Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community is maintaining and creating. So, uh, a little bit about this series I'm going over home labs or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. So this is what we'll be installing today, a Umami. It's web analytics, uh, couldn't be complicated. It, it makes it to where you can easily have a nice interface to see who's on your sites or on, on something that you host. It's really nice. And um, so it maintains visitor pr privacy and data ownership. It's simple analytics on your data, respect data privacy. It's GDR compliant, a GDPR compliant, I mean. And um, so, I will get to installing it with uh, a Big Bear Casa OS, which is a third-party app store. So this is what we will be installing Umami on. It's a personal cloud operating system. It makes to where it manages your Docker and Pose apps. And that's what Umami is uh, a compi compiled with, a Docker container. And then it runs the Docker container and the Docker Compose. So, um, it has a lot of self-hosted apps. Um, it, it connects you with all your data on a, a, th a third-party data sources like Google, Dropbox, iCloud, OneDrive, NVR, Camera, HDD, and SD. Access your server anytime. And then this is how it works. It's got an app store. And then it's got a flexible dashboard that looks nice. You can discover new apps in the app store. And then you can also have a command line interface in the actual CASA OS. It, you SSH into the CASA OS from the UI. And then you can build your own home data center and share files across the network, protect your family's privacy and data, and freely add disk and expansion spaces. Simple and elegant to use. It, may, it, ju it just makes it to where you don't have to use Docker and Pose. You, you can use the nice UI. Works on Ubuntu, ri Raspberry Pi, a Debian. Uh, you can also get a Xeon board. And uh, you can also get an Intel Nuke. So AMD64, ARM V7, and ARM64. So this is a little bit about the apps. So, it's all the apps that are in the App Store. And then they got a great community, so you can go join that on Discord, or they have a form board. So, that's about Cost OS. So, I wanted to come up with a way to install Umami very quick. I added it to Big Bear Cost OS. It's a third-party app store for Cost OS. And thanks to the Cost OS developers, they made it to where anybody can create a third-party app store and maintain the Docker Compose without having to go, uh, go through the time of putting it into the main app store. Um, so, um, uh, we're going to go uh, d down here and you can get a uh, how to install Big Bear Casa OS, but I'm gonna walk you through in this video too. It only works in uh, Casa OS 0.4.4 and greater. So, um, I'm gonna go into apps I'm gonna scroll down to you mommy right here and then Docker and Pose. So I'm going to name the application Big Bear you mommy. I'm gonna have some services. The main service underneath the services is called app. And then if I scroll down to main right here, that lines up with app and app because that actually connects to the service right here. And then I'm going to get the uh, Umami software and then Umami off of GitHub. Uh, so, and then I'm going to get the Postgres uh, of the latest version. And that's the tag. I'm going to set some ports. So 3000 is on the host. 3000 is in the container. If this does collide with a host port that you're using, you can change this port. And um, so I'm gonna set some environment variables. 
So the database URL will be Postgres and then Umami and then Umami and then at DB and then 5432 for the port and then the Umami uh, database. So the database type will be po PostgreSQL. The app secret, you can change this here. Um, it, it depends on the DB, the, the service DB down here. So the condition is service healthy. And um, the restart policy is set to always. So no matter what, it'll always try to restart if it fails or if you stop it in your reason. I'm going to have a DB service. So Postgres 15 Alpine. And then this is getting off Docker Hub because there's no URL before this, like right here. So, and then the tag will be 15 and then Alpine. The environment variables will be Postgres DB and then Umami. Po Postgres user, Umami. And then Postgres password, Umami. And then now the volume set. I'm going to set a volume on the host at data, app data. And then it will get the app ID right here, Big Bear Umami. And then this is a dynamic variable that it'll set. And then I'm going to uh, name it PG data. And this will be, uh, the Postgres data will live in this one right here. And then in the container side on the Postgres is var lib Postgres QL data. And then you cannot change this, but if you want to change the host path, you can. I'm going to set a restart policy of always. I'm going to set a health check. So this is checking for if Postgres QL is up. And then now the X Casa OS information is for the custom app store. So X Casa OS and then the architectures that the Docker container supports. And then the th this indicates the main service. So main will go to the app right here. And then now the, the description is set. The tagline that you'll see in the app store the, the developer of this Docker container is Umami Software. This indicates the person who actually created the Docker Compose. So Big Bear Tech World is the author of this Docker Compose right here. And then the URL po pointing to it, it uh, the URL po po pointing to the icon is right here. So this is using the dashboard icons. And then um, there's no th thumbnail set. The title that's in the app store is called Umami. The category is set to Big Bear Casa OS. This makes it to where it's easy to filter by and you're, you're, you're able to see all the apps of Big Bear Casa OS in there really easy. The port map is the UI port that the container is using. So the port map is 3000 and this lines up with the host port of 3000 right here. So what this is doing is it's proxying it into the container and then um, the 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 port right here is 3000 and then going to it to the container right here. Uh, so this sets the UI port, the web UI port right here. And um, so that that's a little bit how the Big Bear Cross OS is on the Docker Compose right here. So now we'll get to installing Big Bear Cross OS in your Cross OS. So on the Big Bear Cross OS, I'm going to go down to App Store URL right here. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go over to my Cross OS and get it installed. So I'm going to go over to the Cross OS. I'm going to be on my dashboard. I'm going to go to App Store. And then I'm going to go to add source right here. Then I'm going to paste the URL in to this text input. And then I'm going to say add. Now we have 91 apps. So we can see it's in there, Big Bear Tech World. So I'm going to go over to here. You're not going to see the category yet because we have to refresh. So I'm going to refresh the page. I'm going to go back into the app store. I'm going to look for Big Bear Cost OS and it's right here. And then now I'm going to scroll down and um, you should see it. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, now you can also go up here to search a Umami and you can find it here. So I'm going to um, 
and now install it. So now I'm on the Casa OS dashboard. I've installed Big Bear Casa OS as a third party app store. So I'm gonna go in the app store right here. I'm going to say you mom me up in the search box. I'm gonna have it right here. And you know it's from Big Bear Casa OS because the category is Big Bear Casa OS. And now I'm gonna press install. What this is doing is downloading it off of the uh, GitHub repository, uh, the Docker repository and then starting up with Docker Compose and also starting up the PostgreSQL database. And um, get, I think that's getting off of Docker Hub. Um, so I want these all in, uh, uh, install and Do Docker Compose is up. You'll get this to where there's no issues and you can open it. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to show you where the volume is. The most important part of this is the data. And um, I'm going to go to uh, Files app right here. And then I'm going to go to App Data, Big Bear Umami, and then PG Data. And then you'll see all your PostgreSQL data right here. I'm going to go backwards. So you can check mark this and you can download it, copy it, cut it, and delete it. And then you can cancel out of the uh, check mark. You can also have options right here to where you can do the same thing. You can go back and you can do the same thing to this one. So that's how to get to the volumes in Casa OS. Uh, this files app makes it extremely easy. So now I'm going to show you the container options. So if you go to this vertical dot right here and you click it, you, you, you have options like open uh, up into the web UI. You can show t uh, tips to where you can actually save tips to where you can uh, put something in here. It's like a notepad and then you save it'll restart the container and say you mommy is okay And then now if you go back into tips, you can see it did save You can now see the settings so you can go down here ch uh, change things and then press the save button you cannot um, update the tag from here you'll have to delete this uh, container and then um, reinstall it with a new tag if you want to change the tag for any reason. And um, so the web UI is here. It's already set up because of the third party app store, Beaver Cost OS. So I'm going to, um, uh, oh, you can look at the DB2 right here. So you can um, see, see where the volume is located. I'm gonna go out of here. So now you can see the terminal logs. You can, um, to have a full terminal right here. Uh, this is uh, g going into the container. And then you can also see the logs right here. So um, now I'm gonna X out of here and then now you can go back up to the vertical dots. You can check for updates on the current tag it's on and then uninstall the container, restart, and then power off and on. So. That's the container options. So now we will go ahead and get the UI set up. So I'm gonna say open right here. And I'm gonna put a username which is admin by default and you mommy in as password. And then I'm gonna say log in. Now you'll have dashboard, websites, reports, settings. And then you can change the color of the theme to night and day. You can also change the languages here. You can go ahead and you can see your, your, your profile. You can log out. You can go ahead and, and see your profile right here. Uh, your username, your role. You can change your password. You can change the default date range. You can change the language, the time zone, the theme. So you can see your teams right here. You can see all your websites. You can see the reports, so you can create an report, an insights, a funnel, a retention. 
and um, you can see your my websites and your team websites here. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a website real quick. So I, I click the add website right here and I'm gonna give it a name. So Big Bear Tech World. And then now I'm gonna give it a domain. So Big Bear Tech World. And then now that should be good. So I'm gonna press save. And um, the domain should not include the HTTPS. So I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna press save now. So now you can view it, you can edit it. So you can go in here and edit things. You can see the, the website ID that it generated. You can get the tracking code and copy it and then put it in your site. Uh, I in the and the head ta tags right here. And now you can enable or share URL so other people can see the website stats. You can go ahead and restart, uh, reset the website data. You can delete the website right here. So you, you can go ahead and you can create a team. So Big Bear Team. And then now you can view it. You can add members to this team. You can see details. You can see the access code, the team ID. You can see what websites the team owns. So you can go ahead and put the Big Bear Tech World into here. And then now the, the this Big Bear Team as Big Bear Tech World as a website. You can um, go over here and you can create a report. You can create an insight report and put Big Bear Tech World as a thing and then say today and then save. And then now you can also put fields in that you want to filter by. So, and then now you can see a stats of what happens on this site. You can toggle the charts on and off. You can edit the site and ch uh, change the order. So now we can go into view, uh, view details. And then now you get an overview. You can see a lot of information. And then now you can filter by things like fields, uh, URL, browser, OS, device, country. You can go back in time, go forward, go backwards. And then now you can uh, filter by a certain date range. You can see a real-time view of what people are doing on your site. And then now you can uh, see our, your reports that you've generated. You can see the event data to where uh, each event that happens. So that's a little bit about the uh, Umami UI. So I just walked you through step by step on how to get the Big Bear OS set up, get the Umami installed, everything like that. And I showed the UI a little bit. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.